Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at the best way to monitor the level of your propane tanks. I've got my two 30 pound tanks out of my camper and they're sitting back here behind me, but this would work just as well if you're using a propane grill or any other propane device that uses a standard size tank. I'm Jason and this is a Weekend RV Adventures YouTube channel. On this channel, I share camping tips and tricks, some of my favorite gear and reviews of products, and some of the adventures we go on. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Any of the products I mentioned in this video will be linked down below. And just in full disclosure, I do get an affiliate commission if you purchase through those links. So if you like the video and want to support the channel, go ahead and use those links to make your purchase. So we're going to try and check the level of the propane in the tanks with four different methods. The first one is by putting the tank on a scale and comparing the weight of the tank now to the tear weight stamped on the tank. And then we'll be able to calculate how much propane's in there. That's pretty simple, but not very convenient. The next is using a magnetic tank sensor. The way those sensors work is they stick on the side of the tank and as the tank draws down the propane it will cool off and the magnetic sensor will detect where the temperature difference is in the tank showing you the level. So that one only works when your tank's running and drawing a decent amount of propane. The third one we'll try is a propane gauge that screws on in between the tank and your device and that one shows the level as uh, full and then it's got a yellow and a red section. It's not going to give you an exact level, but it should be pretty accurate, and we'll find that out. And the third one is an ultrasonic sensor. It was sent to me by Mojica Products to test out, but rather than just testing their sensor, I decided I'd compare it against some other methods. So that's the tank check, and the way that works is it sticks to the bottom of the tank with a magnet. It shoots an ultrasonic beam up through the tank that measures the level of the propane, and then you can view that level on a little display or on your smartphone. So let's take a look at everything. I'll get the uh, tank check out of the box, show you what that looks like, get everything set up, and show you how we're going to run the test. So here's the products we'll be testing out today. First is a Grill Pro magnetic tank gauge. It's a small gauge, so you've got to kind of get this lined up approximately where the level is in the tank. Uh, they show you here placing it on the bottom. Next is this gauge. And you can see the three levels I mentioned earlier, gas, low gas, and refill. And this will just screw in right in line. And the third is the ultrasonic sensor. And let's see if we can open this one up. So inside the package here, we have two tank sensors for tank one and two. We have the monitor. See if I can get that in focus for you. And a couple of little standoffs to help hold the tank up if the sensor hits the ground. And some screws. Now let's go ahead and get everything set up. I just checked the weight of my tanks to get a baseline number so I had some idea where I'm at. My tanks are 30 pound propane tanks which means they hold approximately 30 pounds of propane. The tanks are also stamped at the top with the tear weight or empty weight of the tank and the empty weight on both of my tanks is right around 25 pounds. Putting them on the scale, one of the tanks weighed in at 51 pounds and the other tank weighed in at 31 pounds. I had to check my notes here. So, that means that the tank weighing in at 51 pounds has approximately 26 pounds of propane in it and that puts it about 7 eighths full. The other tank only has about 6 pounds of propane in it and that puts it just under a quarter of a tank full. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up the uh, quarter tank and we'll test that one out because uh, I have a feeling in this test we're just going to run all the propane out of the tank and see how they do because the most important part would be how well they read when the tank's almost empty. The first thing we're going to have to do is set up the tank check system. So to do that, I'll remove the battery saver tab from the back of the monitor panel. Now I'll take the first sensor and wake it up out of sleep mode that it comes in from the factory. You do that by pressing the sync button five times. Now that that's been done, we'll link it to the monitor by pressing the monitor button and then the sync button. And you can see on the monitor panel it's reading empty now. Now we'll repeat the process for the other sensor. If 
five times of the sync button, press that, and press the sync button again. And you can see that one's reading empty as well. Now we'll get the sensors attached to the tank. Attaching the sensors is pretty easy. We'll just flip the tank over, make sure the bottom's cleaned off, and stick the sensor right on the middle. And then do the same thing for the second tank. For this video, I'm only going to use the monitor panel. I'll do another video that will show how to set up the app and how that works. But from the factory, the monitor panel comes set up for 20 pound propane tanks, which is standard on most grills and smaller RVs. Since I have a 30 pound tank, I need to change this and set it up for a 30 pound tank. To do that, I'll press and hold the button just like the sink, and it'll go into sink mode, and then it'll light up red indicating a 20 pound tank. If you hold it down, yellow indicates a 30 pound tank, green is a 40. So I'll let it get back here to a 30 pound tank and let go. Now we'll do the same thing for tank 2. Again, hold it down until it goes into sync mode, and then into the size mode, and let go when it highlights yellow for a 30 pound tank. I went ahead and placed the uh, spacers on the bottom of my tanks just to make sure I didn't have any issues with the sensors being too close to the ground. Now we'll hook up the gauge, and then I'll hook up a torch that I'm going to use to run through some propane. That way we can get a good flow of gas and get that magnetic sensor to work as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and light this torch and get the test started. Hi, I'm back, and as you can see, it's a little brighter outside. That's because it's the next day. Uh, I was having some problems with my testing, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. Uh, there were a couple of issues I was having. One is I wasn't getting much flow out of the torch and I know that torch should really uh, burn pretty hot and have pretty high flow so that was one issue I had. The second issue I had is the ultrasonic sensors didn't seem to be reading. Uh, I was having trouble getting a reading on the display monitor so I loaded the app up and uh, I wasn't getting a good reading on the app either. And the third problem I had was uh, it was getting dark. So I've went ahead and I've done a little research to figure out what was going on and uh, I've made a couple adjustments and now I think we're ready to get back to the test. So the first issue with the ultrasonic sensors appears to be that I just didn't let the tank sit to settle out long enough. I was getting uh, quality readings that went in and out and level readings that were changing and I think I just didn't put them on and let them sit long enough for everything to stabilize. Now on the tank that was lower I did notice that I was reading zero on the monitor but with the app I'm reading about 15 percent so it looks like there's a cutoff point where once you're down below, maybe uh, around 15%, it's going to read empty. And that's understandable because there's a limited number of LEDs on the monitor panel. Uh, the other monitor pan the other tank that I have connected is reading full, and we know that one's around 7 eighths full. So again, that could just be hitting that cutoff point. But I've got the app loaded, and the app is showing about 15% on the tank that we're testing. Uh, the second issue I had was with the gauge, the inline gauge. And it also has a leak detector on it. And what that does is if it detects a sudden high flow, it'll cut down the flow and restrict it back to a very low rate. Uh, the tank itself has that same function built into it. The problem is the leak detector is overly sensitive. Uh, I can't even run this torch at about half power without tripping that leak detector. So I'm gonna have to take that out for the test. And I will show you what the gauge is showing right now. It's showing about, uh, the middle of the green section. Now we know this tank is mostly empty and it's still showing pretty high so as far as I'm concerned that's kind of proved that this inline gauge isn't very effective at telling the level of your tank because you could think you still have almost a full tank 
and we're actually down at 15% or less. I've got the inline gauge removed now, and I'm going to go ahead and light the torch again. You should be able to hear the torch running behind me now. It's burning a lot hotter than it was last night. In fact, last night I let it run for about half an hour and barely saw any change in the ultrasonic level or the weight of the tank. But now that it's going on high, we should be able to see that tank level start dropping quickly. And we'll also be able to take a look at that magnetic gauge and see how the temperature drops by the color change on there. The torch finally went out. It went out about uh, 30 minutes after the tank check uh, read zero or empty on the app. So we were able to use this uh, magnetic gauge. And again, this was a Grill Pro, Grill Pro gauge. Uh, it's the magnetic gauge that sticks on the side of the tank. I watched that throughout the process and I actually had a second camera on here while the torch was burning. So uh, I'll show you some of that footage, but you could definitely see the colors changing on here and dropping as the tank level dropped. So this is a definite uh, success. This one works. The problem with this gauge is you have to be looking at it and the tank has to be flowing. So if you're not using gas and you're not out there looking at this uh, little magnetic gauge, then you're not going to see what's going on. I'm going to call this one a failure. That's the inline gauge and this was the uh, gas safe model. Uh, I bought this one on Amazon, and if you could find the same type of gauge that does not have the leak preventer in it, I'd say go for it. But the uh, leak detection in here just seems too sensitive. I'd be afraid that if I installed this on my camper and I tried using, uh, say, the water heater and the stove at the same time, it may trip that leak detection function and cut my gas flow down to about nothing. So it will give you an indication. Um, again, the indication was pretty high, but, uh, you know... It may work for you. Uh, it wasn't for me though. And then the last one was the tank check and that was this uh, ultrasonic that came with the monitor and the two sensors that stick to the bottom of the tanks. Again I had a little trouble getting this uh, started up initially but once I let everything settle out it seemed to be working okay. Uh, I will go ahead and put this on my camper and let it run for a while. We'll do a longer review. Now that uh, like I said before this said empty when there was about 30 minutes left on the torch. Now I could tell by looking at the magnetic gauge and looking at the condensation that was starting to form on the tank that it was down very near the bottom uh, where the tank starts to curve around at the bottom is about where the level was when this started reading empty. So I'd say that's a pretty safe bet you're going to get a good indication. Now again, uh, that's my wrap up. I'd say the tank check works, the magnetic gauge works, the inline gauge not uh, one I'd recommend. I'll put all the links to these products in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. I'll also uh, link up a full review of this uh, tank check system once I get that tested out. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for a way to check the propane level on your propane tank on your camper or your grill, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to the channel if you liked what you saw and uh, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you again soon.